Hey you guys, it's Peter and Peter. And we're back. Of course we're back. We're not going anywhere. Oh, we're YouTube famous or now. It's a hard enough life for us. They're waiting for me on Broadway. Anyway, how are you guys doing today? Oh my god, it is such a wonderful, amazing day. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. I'm waiting to exhale. Do you remember that movie? I love that movie so much. Anyway, how are you guys doing? So, if you're watching this video tonight on what is today, Wednesday, when I am posting this video, um, I am taking to you now. I will be on there at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can go and you can follow me on you now and you can see me be on there answering crazy questions. Of course, I'll be in my car somewhere in Indianapolis. I'm kind of like the mobile YouTuber. Anyway, how are you guys doing today? Are you having a wonderful day? Thank you so much for all the well wishes about my aunt. Um, it meant just the world to me. I had to take a day off from YouTube. You know, I love doing this so much and I did post my vlog yesterday. So if you guys don't know, I am doing a daily vlog every day. Bye-bye, <laughs> pee-pee. I'm doing a daily vlog every day for the year of 2017. Um, just kind of chronicling my life. It's listed below. It's the first thing you'll see when you go down there. Please subscribe to it. It would mean the world to me. I'm really trying to build that channel up. I'm loving doing that. I'm loving, you know, posting just me and Alex's crazy adventures throughout the day, which is sometimes fun and sometimes not. And we're planning all these kind of trips for this year. And so I'm really excited about taking you guys with me on those trips and things like that. What do you want? So anyway, um, but I didn't post any videos on this channel yesterday. I was with my family. I thought, hold on. It's Pee Pee the Flying Chihuahua. <laughs> he says, uh, Dad, I want to be on camera. Uh, excuse me, I did not sign any consents, and I do not have my SAG card to be in this film, which I'm sure will be shown at the uh, Con Film Festival, as well as Sundance. Thank you very much. Anyway, so um, yeah, I think it's very important sometimes to really prioritize your life and realize what's important. And as much as I love doing this, my family comes first and foremost. So I just wanted a day to be with my family yesterday. Um, and I did, and it was actually really nice. So anyway, don't ever forget that life is really short. Say the things you want to say to people, you know, before it's too late. And always, I don't know, you know, live out loud and be a kind, caring, compassionate person. And life is really, really short. So anyway, enough of all that. Now let's get to what this video is about. It's a magazine video. Disclaimer, it's the magazine video. I have not looked through this magazine, but I need to do an update. Where's Pee Pee? Where are you, Pee Pee? He's like sitting behind me. I need to do an update. So while I was looking through the newspaper magazines, those tab old tabloids, I love those the most, right? The National Examiner, The Inquirer, and all this kind of stuff. Okay, this is very much drama, drama, drama. You guys want some inside drama to the world? I'm not sure why. But the National Enquirer has dropped the Sheila Wood Friendship Club. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because it's a total scam. I don't know if it's because everybody's relocating once they get out of their correctional institutions, once they meet the love of their life, and so there's no need for the, uh, the Shirley Woods, the Sheila Wood Friendship Club, but it is no longer in the Enquirer. It's only in the Examiner. The Examiner was like all political stuff. I didn't really want to talk about that, so I was like, screw it. I'm getting the OK Magazine. Pee -pee, what are you doing back there? He is roughhousing. He said, Dad, I need my own YouTube channel. So many people are asking me, they're like, are you getting PP as on YouTube channel? I'm like, uh, I don't, another channel? <laughs> I kind of talked about it in my vlog yesterday, jokingly, and then all these people were like, yes, do a channel for PP. Can you imagine? How many channels do you have? Uh, 32. Anyway, so let's get right into this magazine challenge, or challenge, <laughs> magazine video today. Angie's breakdown over Brad. What's interesting to me is when you see the pictures as they pick on these, Brad Pitt looks, looks ha ha in that picture. And Angelina Jolie. I mean, she doesn't look bad, but she doesn't look that good. And then let's see down here. Ex hubby slams Mariah. Your career is over, to, says Tom Matola. Mariah Carey's career is not over. Do you guys watch that reality show? I don't know what's it called. Like, uh, I'm here for the realness, Mariah or something. I think it's just called Mariah. But anyway, I love it so much. I love that reality show. And then losing weight is as easy as one, two, three. Danielle did it. I don't know who Danielle is, but I'd like to lose weight. One, two, three. J Lo and Drake fake romance. Can't wait to find out about that. I kind of like them together a little bit. So anyway, let's see what it says about here. Angie, she calls 20 times a day. He won't answer. You've ruined my life, but I can't live without you. Brad tells friends he fears for the kids. I fear for the kids too. 
let's get right into this. Okay, so first and foremost, there's a new show starting on the CW called Riverdale. I'm sure my husband will watch it. He watches all the CW shows. I'm like so far behind it. The other night he was watching, uh, what's the one about the vampires? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Not True Blood. I watched True Blood till the very bitter end and it was very bitter at the end. Um, I, what's the one, uh, Vampire Diaries. He still watches that. I was like, is this show still on? He was like, yeah, I go. He goes, do you don't know anything about it? I said, I read the books. I'm a booktuber. Oh, that channel's listed below too. Anyway, let's get right into this. Megan's big move, Fox Superstar, my, uh, don't care about her, let's move on. Oh, what does this say? What, what, cramps? The powerful pain relief you need and nothing else. Antihistamine free, caffeine free, Advil menstrual pain, just in case you needed that in your life. Okay, let's get fairs for boozy Mariah. What kills me about these magazines, you guys, is that they use the same words. It's always boozy this and boozy that. Somebody's always boozy. Look at her because she's got drink. Because a girl likes a good cocktail, a champagne cocktail. Probably not a champagne cocktail because those are about two fifty at the local bar. But I mean, it's probably a you know a good bottle of you know what is it? It doesn't say we're here. What she her beloved bubbly. Yes, she likes a good glass of champagne. That means she's boozy as hell. Early warning sign. One report claimed that the October taping of Mimi's Christmas Carpool Karaoke, which like got huge views, okay, and was hilarious, segment dragged on for hours because she was wasted. Is she or is that just Mariah? I don't know. I love Mariah. So anyway, next, Rosie returning to The View. Rosie O'Donnell believes the third time could be the charm for her on The View. Though she's had two controversial co-hosting co stints already from 2004. Do we want Rosie back on The View? Yes or no? I should put a poll up there. Yes or no, Rosie back on The View? I don't know how to do polls. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Fergie turns back the clock. I love Fergie. I was going to sing a little Fergie song, but what's... That party song. How's that song go? We all need a little party or something like that. Anyway. Okay. Hallie search for Mr. Right. Halle Berry is so gorgeous, isn't she? She's got beauty, talent, two gorgeous children, and even an Oscar, but there's still one item on Halle Berry's bucket list. I love that last. That's so true. So tragic. Love her so much. Bradley, Ben's sober support. Ben Affleck is cleaning up his act and sources say he's looking to his pal Bradley Cooper for inspiration. Bradley, Bradley used to drink a lot, but he gave up uh, that up years ago, says an insider. Even when he's watching a football game, he goes for bottled water. Baby, they can both call this sober one up right here. I'll help them both out. What color will you pick? I don't know. I kind of like that rainbow effect. Splot. It's called splat. Splot. I don't know. What do you think, Pee Pee? He's like, I don't care so much for that. Anyway, all right. Let's see. Moving on. Red carpet. I don't care about any. Oh, Adriana Lima. Love her. Jessica Biel. Love their Shanina. Shanina Shallot. Shake. Collateral. I don't know who that is. She's pretty, but her outfit is like all le leather disaster right there. Uh, Olivia Munn. I don't know who she is. I don't like that suit. Martha Hunt. Who is Martha Hunt? She's pretty. She had Victoria's Secret model. I love a good pageant updo. All day, baby. Pageant updo. Look, hair pieces. Okay, let's see. Who wore it better? Kourtney Kardashian? No. Hillary Duff versus Candace Cameron. <laughs> They totally boogered both of them. I mean, seriously, what? Where is Cameron's Can Can Candace Cameron doing now? Fuller House. Uh, let's see what else. Camilla Bell versus Leah Michelle. Leah Michelle is so gorgeous. I love her so much. Leah did. It says, of course she did. Look at that. I mean, really, if you're gonna do the magazine videos with me, you need to go buy them because we're already nine minutes in. Okay, Nicole steals the spotlight. Of course she did. I can't stand that Nicole Kidman. I don't know why. I love her in every movie she does, but like when she's not in movies, she's just like. She just drives me nuts. Like, I don't know what that is about her. I, I just really don't get it. But I do love Keith Urban. I love that song. Um, what's that country song called, Pee Pee? <laughs> Pee Pee. What's that country song called? I'm so lonely I could cry. Is that what it's called, Lonely Tonight? I don't know. The one where he's talking about I'm so drunk I just had enough that I could cry all night long. Do you guys know that song? I love that Keith Urban song. I just put it in my car driver. Oh. Lose weight. It's easy as one, two, three with Slim Fast. Set it on the front. Says it in here. It's got to be the truth. That Slim Fast safe stuff. I'm sorry, Slim Fast. Oh my God, they took out full ads in here. I'm sure if you stick to it, you probably do lose a bunch of weight. But I'm telling you right now, that stuff tastes like chalk. It's nasty. Okay, let's see. Don't care. Don't care. Who is that? She's kind of pretty. Michelle Williams. Oh my God, Michelle Williams. Gorge. Looks so good, doesn't she? Shannon Dawson's Creek. No more, baby. She's kind of upped her class a little bit. Okay, let's. Oh my Lord. Okay, let's see this. Mark Wahlberg. These are guys that are in bathing suits. Jake Gyllenhaal. And who is that? Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber looks good. You okay, bud? I'm not a huge Justin Bieber fan. I'm not. But like, oh, honey. 
Anyway, did you guys see? Here's Justin Bieber, Jake Gyllenhaal, Mark Wahlberg. I'm, you can't see, but I'm like standing in all the pictures holding their hands. They're obsessed with me because I'm YouTube famous. Okay, soaking it in. Who's This is the same pictures we looked at in the last magazine, Peepy. -pee. These aren't any good. We saw these in the last. Smooth moves. Who's that? Dancing with the Stars Live. I don't know who any of these people are. Whose kids are those? Christina Milian. Oh, I thought it was her kid. It's her. <gasps> Wearing platforms but carrying another pair just in case. Lady Gaga arrived at Bradley Cooper's home for a meeting about their upcoming movie, A Star Is Born. I bet. I would love to hear those two that if they were together. Although it's so sad that Lady Gaga's not with that ex of hers anymore. I thought he was so handsome and such a nice guy. And then they were going to live on like... Some, like, cabin out in the middle of nowhere, like in Wisconsin. Did you hear about that? I thought I would love to have seen that. We never get very far in these magazines, do we? Oh, look at this. On the block. Want to live like a celebrity? Pick up one of these star pads currently up for sale. Frank Sinatra, $3.9 million. No thanks. Amy Schumer's apartment in New York City, $1.6 million. Much cute. Oh, she has outdoor space. It's a rare treasure in New York City. I mean, when you're worth that much, probably not. Rosie O'Donnell, $6 million in West Palm. Looks old. Carol King. Do you guys even know who Carol King is? The singer. The album was Tapestry. My mother loved it. Look at her. Where? Why of all the people in the world would you pull Carol King out? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Elvis Presley, Beverly Hills, California, 30 million. I'd like to live in that just to say I live in Elvis Presley's house. Johnny Depp, 63 million, my lord, in France. That place is gorge. Look at that. Gorge, gorge, gorge for days. Okay, let's move on. PP, are you done with the magazine? Oh, my lord, more houses. Leonardo DiCaprio, Malibu, 10.95. I think that might be where Trisha Paytas is moving. Let's see. John McEnroe, the tennis player, 12.5. Kylie Jenner, 5.4 million. I don't think her house looks that grand. Britney Spears, 8.9 million. Why don't they do a show, like, you know, like, where they do the houses, like, people are selling the houses, but it all be celebrity houses. Wouldn't that be such a great show? I would watch that all day long. I love those house selling shows. What are they called, PP? Uh, listed, Millionaire Listed, something like that. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Celebrity Mansion. It doesn't say who. It's a secret. Oh, you have to guess who it is down here before. Who'd care if it was Glenn Close? Not me all day long. Courtney Love. I love her. I bet that's Courtney Love's house. Oh, no, maybe it looks like Emma Stone, 19.75 million. But do you think Emma Stone really has that much money? I bet it's Courtney Love's house. Because you wouldn't guess it anyway, because it looks like kind of country and stuff. I love Courtney Love. She's one of my favorite celebrities of all time. Don't come for me, okay? If you're Kurt Cobain fans, I was too. <gasps> Chloe and Lamar's impulse decision. Exactly one month after they met in August 2009, Lamar and Chloe Kardashian walked down the aisle. She filed for divorce. Oh, I can't talk about that. It breaks my heart. Short engagements, it says. Talks about all these people that romance. Can't live with it. All right, let's see. Holiday Love Fest. Katie in Orlando. Okay, who'd care? Who'd care? Who'd care? This is all so stupid. Watch out, Brittany. Brittany Spears may want to press pause on her romance with Sam Ashgar. Uh, as Gary, according to a source skeptical of the 22-year-old model's moves. Sam is only dating Britney to raise his profile. Duh. But why do you think she's dating him? Because he's 22 and he's fucking hot. Let's be for real. It's not like she's not getting something out of that. It's not like she thinks it's true love. She had that with Justin Timberlake. She'll never have it again. Look at this. Bitter. How could somebody that I love so much turn into one of my least favorite celebrities all because of this marriage. And look at him. Hunka hunka burning love. He is so fine. I'm sorry. Could you guys please just get back together and fall back in love for the kids. I love them together so much. I love everything they had. Please get back together. And here it is. All of their pictures together. It's a happy family. What happened to Angelina and Ben? Can't we have nice things in Hollywood? Anyway, just for show, Drake and j -Lo. Tongues are wagging over this new couple, but, okay, sources, always sources, right? Say the supposed romance is just smoke and mirrors. I believe it all day long, too. Casper Smart, I liked him. I thought she was, he was good looking, Mark Anthony. My family loves Mark Anthony. I mean, like, with, one of his songs comes on in the kitchen, they all start dancing. Land of Make Believe, the Kardashians, Chloe's Glitzy Surgery. I mean, let's just, listen, Chloe is hands down my favorite Kardashian, okay? Can we just talk about that to that? Like, that is totally a transformation Tuesday. She looks incredible. 
Behind the scenes, is Black China a drama inciting Kardashian interloper? Obviously. I mean, do we even really need to ask that question? Cork Courtney and Scott's crocodile tears. Scott's another couple I want back together. Why are we even entertaining their breakup? I love them so much. Breaks my heart. I love Scott Disick. I do. I know I shouldn't. Scaredy stars. He's fearless on stage and screen, but in real life, some thing, silly things send these celebs into a panic. Why do we always need a paragraph underneath it? Why can't we just have, like, is anybody afraid of sharks? That's what I'm afraid of. Okay, so here it is. Justin Timberlake, he's afraid of spiders. Black Widow. Uh, Serpent Menace, Matt Damon's afraid of snakes. Nicole Kidman's afraid of butterflies. <laughs> Watch out, Mariah Carey. All right, let's see. Next one, Cal Emma Stone's California Dreams. Don't care. I love Emma Stone, but I don't care to read all about it. Rafferty Law, who's that? Hollywood 2.0. These are, like, new people. Rafferty is a model son, quite literally. The genetically blessed 20-year-old made his catwalk debut in the day in the show. Uh, he's a good-looking kid. Who is, who is his? Oh, it's Sadie Frost and Jude Law's son. My God, look. He is good-looking. And then Haley Baldwin. Know her. She's friends with all the A-listers. And then uh, Sistine Stallone. Now, you know I talked about it first on here. Those Stallone sisters are taking over the world. I talked about it in my last magazine video. Don't think I did. And then Billy Lord. Do you know who this is? This is Carrie Fisher's daughter. She's on Scream Queens. I love it so much. She's so hilarious. Okay, I'm running out of time, and I don't really care to read all. Oh, my God, there's more of them. Patrick Schwarzenegger. Not as good looking as his dad back in the day, probably. Lily Rose Depp. Love her already. Zoe Deutsch. Who is she? Leah Thompson's daughter. And Annie McDowell. Margaret Colley. So. Magazine. Not so hot to try. Today was it? A lot more drama going on. But I gave you the real drama. I gave you the real drama about the Sheila Wood, Sheila Wood Friendship Club. So there's all the drama you need. Follow my vlog below. Follow me on all my social media. And I'll be back tomorrow. I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you later. PP says sorry. Bye.